Welcome to the Big Apple, and welcome to one of the best conferences for college broadcasting in the country. So we are here at the Hotel Pennsylvania in New York City for the International College Radio TV Conference, hosted by IBS. IBS is the intercollegiate broadcasting system, and thanks to Hillsborough Community College's Faculty Staff Program Development Travel Fund, I was able to attend this conference with five of our HCC broadcasting students to learn the newest trends, techniques, and practices in college, radio, and television. Where are we right now? We are in New York City at the Pennsylvania Hotel. We're having a great experience at the IBS convention. What is it that we're trying to do here at IBS? So at IBS, at the New York Conference of so 75 years, is our 75th anniversary. And what we do here is try to give students everything they need to do the best stories they can, whether that's on radio or television. Three days, more than 100 speakers, and more than 100 workshops and seminars. We support the programming missions of stations by helping them connect with other stations and come and connect at our conferences to learn new and interesting techniques or methods and shows, and then just being the overall voice of college radio. And we're just here getting more feedback and info on how we should do our radio shows, how social media helps us out. So many sessions and workshops to choose from. Here are just a few creating digital-only content for your station, how to be effective with that, media ethics, uh, proper use of sound bites, lighting, how to make your radio show, radio station the best, improving websites, so much to take advantage of here and so much we can take back to HCC. So any sound that you have incorporated into your story and it just... There'll be things along the lines of production, there'll be things along the line of um, you know, news and reporting and journalism, uh, things that'll apply to anything in their lives if they're looking to tell a story, if they're looking to get the word out, either whether that's online, on air, or in print. Um, I'm most excited about um, scripting for TV and what else? And how to start up uh, when you're starting out, starting out a DJ at a radio show. It was about story, so it's kind of you know what I was touching on, where when you get personal with your audience, with your, whether it's viewers or listeners, um, you kind of create that personal connection between them and you that really keeps them with you. Yeah. The other ones uh, that I'm going to work is the US-UK radio partnership. That would be interesting to go to to see you know, how to do things differently across the pond. I'd love to do that one as well. And then also an LGBT uh, radio conference. That was, that's also in my interest. So there are 85 colleges and high schools represented here at this year's IBS College Radio and TV Conference in New York City. The goal, of course, is to learn from the pros, get ideas from our peers, and show off what we do at HCC Broadcast. Sessions like this Program Directors Roundtable gave college broadcasters and advisors the opportunity to collaborate, exchange ideas, and learn how college radio is run in different parts of the country. All the other highlights for me are when the students connect with each other and start sharing their ideas because everybody's doing so great, such a great things at their schools and I could be doing those great things at my school as well. And it's not stealing, uh, I call it the case method, to copy and steal everything. Uh, because what we're doing is we're taking the best of what you're doing and the best of what I'm doing and I'm gonna make it work for me and you're gonna make my stuff work for you. Now, this is what I wanna do, TV, radio, so it's helping me get my foot in the door, giving me information that you know I might not get in class and I'm getting it from people who are in the business. Conference attendees also got inspiration and advice from special guests and speakers like former Tampa Bay radio personality and national talk show host, Lionel. This is the best time ever, ever for radio. Don't let anybody fool you. You're talking these naysayers. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of tough, you know. It's not, uh, it's not what it used to be. Oh, shut up. It's better than ever. We just went to the speaker. Uh, Lionel is very hilarious and, you know, he taught us a, a bunch about, you know, just being yourself and the listeners and wanting you to be honest with them, you know. We just saw Lionel, who was awesome. Um, lots of great advice from him. He was very funny. He told us, never give up no matter what people say. If you know that's what you want to do, you need to do it. And that's what I'm going to do. The former WABC talk show host even gave our HCC broadcast students some valuable one-on-one -on -one time. We just heard from Lionel, very comedic, funny, um, a lot of information and advice he gave us. What is the best advice you got from him? What, what are you taking away from his, his little talk with you guys today? Be yourself. Don't let anyone kill your spirit. No. 100% you is better than 75% you. 
Vendors showed off the latest in radio and studio equipment like this voice automated production studio. We'll never get to that point because at the end of the day, the stronger all our programs are, the stronger our field is. New ideas, new techniques, new contacts, and a new enthusiasm are what we bring back to HCC from this conference. What do you hope to get out of this conference? You know, I hope to get kind of a more um, personal view on the business in radio and broadcasting in general. You know, learning in classrooms and stuff like that you usually get kind of generic information, you know, not really personal experience. Here you get to listen to speakers and, and you know, a lot of people in the business that can tell you actual personal stories. And I, I always think those are a lot more kind of informing and educational. I think the students leave here and they are pumped. They got ideas, they're excited, they want to run home and implement them right away. So thank you to the Ybor City Campus FSPD Committee for this awesome experience at the 2015 Intercollegiate Broadcasting Systems Annual College Broadcasting Conference. In New York City, Narisa Lamison, Hawk TV News.